What's going on guys and welcome back to the good old boys channel you guys could probably tell that the hawk has some major issues with the swing arm it's actually bent so that's not something that you want to have happen i would call it a failure at this point if it goes much further the swing arm will actually fold and it'll be a major failure so what we're going to be doing today is showing you guys how to fix that so as you guys can imagine this video is going to be all about the swing arm on the hawk 250 my particular bike is a 2019 Hawk 250 and I've got 2,100 miles on it. So you have a little list of stuff to go through on the swing arm, including paint. We're gonna look at the swing arm bushings, put a grease circ in the swing arm. The swing arm is actually bent, which is the failure. We're gonna figure out how to fix that. So a few things we're gonna clean up on the swing arm, like these chain guard bolts. We're just gonna cut those off of there because they're no longer needed. No need to waste any time, so let's jump right into the video. All right, so I want to show you guys these wrinkles in the paint, which are kind of just telltale signs of the swing arm being bent. You can see little wrinkles kind of everywhere. And I think that's the primary reason why the paint is actually peeling off. Um, of course, some of it is from rocks getting kicked up and chipping at the paint. You can see how the paint is chipped lengthwise like this, and that's from the swing arm kind of stretching. So I wanted to give you guys an idea of the swing arm and how bent it is. So what I have here is a straight edge or what we're gonna use for a straight edge at least. And uh, you know, you can definitely tell that one side is more bent than the other. Off the, the swing arm and then on this side we have over a centimeter. Hopefully you guys can see this, but um, like I said, one side is actually bent more than the other. The first thing we're going to do here is disassemble the swing arms. Alrighty guys, quick little note on orientation for the swing arm here for these uh, chain adjusters. So you can see we have the chain guard here. This is the rear of the swing arm, this is the front, obviously. So these guys right here, if you look at them, we have these extra parts on one side versus the other. Kind of hard to show you guys, but basically um, the extra part faces towards the outside of the swing arm on both sides. So that completes the swing arm disassembly. Now we're going to go ahead and remove these couple brackets that we no longer need. We're going to go ahead and straighten this thing out. So what we have here is Big Bertha. This is our 20 ton press. We're going to put this swing arm in there and see what happens. So this is the piece of metal I've chose to strengthen the swing arm. So I just want to show you guys, basically it's going to sit on the swing arm kind of like this. Obviously it's not going to be over top of the axle bolt hole, but you get the gist. The whole idea why I want this thing to have a space in between here and here is because we don't want two pieces of metal sandwiched together like this. What happens is the metal actually rusts uh, in between the two pieces that are sandwiched together. So obviously with the thing like this, I can paint between the uh, swing arm and the new piece of metal. So now we're gonna take our swing arm and our new piece of metal and sandblast them right quick. Sandblasting is done. It's time to get this thing welded onto that thing. All right guys, so this is what we came up with. You can see we got a beautiful fit. It's gonna look almost OEM. Now it's time to weld this together.
Guys, here it is. She is an absolute beauty. Hopefully you guys can see what I'm trying to show you here. And it's about twice as heavy, so <laughs> it's gotta have some kind of structural integrity. I might have said I was gonna put a grease circuit in this uh, for the swing arm bushings, but I don't think I'm gonna do that. So, um, no grease circ, so we're gonna go ahead and paint it. So oh, here's the first coat of paint. I used rusty metal primer, which is really good stuff. Last coat of paint, here we go. So this is the final coat of paint. Just decided to paint it black. You guys saw the rusty metal primer underneath, which is kind of a brown or rust metal color, but it's looking good. All right, so let's put this thing together. So a couple things on the final assembly of the swing arm. You can see I have some green grease here. What we're gonna be doing is greasing uh, most of the hardware up before we put it back in the swing arm. So what I have here is a little brush. These are obviously the chain tension adjusters and I'm just gonna brush a little bit, not too much, but a little bit of grease on them. We'll go ahead and put the rear axle in. And we're gonna grease this um, when we're putting the wheel back on the, the bike. These two screws, you'll notice, don't have anything attached. These are for the brake line, the rear brake line. So we have the actual swing arm bolt itself. You can see it's fairly rusty, should be mostly fine. Um, I am gonna go ahead and fill this with grease so this doesn't get any worse. You gotta keep in mind there's these two cups that go on the ends of the swing arm. Obviously the cup end goes over the uh, swing arm here. So you do wanna have a little bit of grease around this. We're gonna go ahead and pack these full of grease too. We don't want these going bad. Save yourself some money by doing the preventative maintenance. All right, so it's all greased up. Just pop it on the end. Pop this one on this side. At this point, you would slide the swing arm between the frame of the bike, then obviously take and slide your bolt through the frame, then through the swing arm. Yep, it's a little messy, but your bike will last forever. <laughs> so you guys probably noticed we didn't do the swing arm bushings, and that's for a good reason. The bushings themselves were perfectly fine. The looseness that was happening with the swing arm was because number one, the swing arm bolt was just a tad bit loose and there's a little bit of wear from the rust as you guys could see on the actual swing arm uh, bolt. So uh, basically what I'm doing is greasing it up so it doesn't rust anymore and I'm tightening it down um, as you guys will see later in the video. There's not much left to assemble. Uh, we do however need to put the shock bolt in here and hopefully you guys can see it's not just the lens on the camera this bolt actually was a little bit loose when i took the swing arm off and the looseness caused the shock to bend the bolt so either gonna have to find a new one or bend this straight so we'll take care of that not perfect but it'll do And then of course we have our chain guide here. Now, everybody that has a Hawk 250 knows the chain guide they come with is yeah, absolutely terrible. What we're gonna do is make a new one of these. Have a set of trimmers, some old conveyor belt. The goal is to make the same exact part, but longer and also wider. So it's looking pretty good guys, fits right on here. We're gonna go ahead and put this on later because we need to make sure we're not putting bolts where the chain is gonna go. Time to put the swing arm back on. We're gonna go up in here right where the swing arm attaches, take some grease and put it on these. 
little guys here. Here comes the torque specs for the swing arm bolt and the shock bolt. Guys, I initially set the swing arm bolt to 45 foot pounds. It is too much. There's resistance in the swing arm. So we're going to set it at 30. And hopefully that works all right. One more little side note here, guys. Your torque spec is going to be different if you have grease on the bolt versus no grease on the bolt. You're going to get a tighter, tighter clamping force when you have grease on the bolt versus the clamping force when you don't have grease on the bolt. For the shock, we're going to go with 30, 30 foot pounds. Maybe a little more. We'll go with 35 for the shock. So guys, these are not factory torque specs. These are just specs that I think will probably work. If there's any issues with the torque specs or they need to be higher, I'll go ahead and put that information in the description box below after I test this for a while. Time to reinstall this rear brake line. Alrighty, so you guys can see the bike's mostly back together now. Uh, I needed the chain uh, back on the bike and bike pretty much fully assembled to figure out where we're gonna put our new chain guide here. So what we're gonna do is take our chain guide, slide it back through here best we can. Oh yeah, it fits perfectly. So you guys can see we have this clamp on here helping hold the chain guard, the new chain guard in place. I'm just gonna take some screws and screw it onto here. Okay. All right. Wow, guys, so the swing arm's looking really good out in the day. Guys, the last thing to do here is to test the new swing arm. Spoiler alert, we've already tested it and it works amazing. Now we are gonna have a video coming out on it, so be sure to subscribe and check back. It'll be coming out very shortly, and I'm also gonna have it linked in the description box below. That's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll catch on the next one. Woo! It's all about humanity.